the practiced eye of a specialist. We're in Switzerland at the radiology department of Basel's University Hospital. Radiologist Dr. Gregor Zomer is analyzing tomographic images and will then make a diagnosis. It's stressful work and can mean a 10-hour day. It's pretty monotonous. You do get to deal with new patients and new problems all the time. But at the end of a long day, you start to lose your focus. A relatively simple case can take just 10 minutes to analyze. More complicated diagnoses need up to half an hour. The radiologists here in Basel deal with an estimated 10,000 cases a month, and that number is increasing. It would be really useful to have technology that would help us to identify potential problems in patients, perhaps an automated device or some sort of software. Computer technology to the rescue. Bram Stjeltis is in charge of developing innovative projects at the radiology department. He's working with a local big data startup company to develop algorithms that will make the radiologist's job simpler. The idea is to create a system that will spot problems that the human eye might miss and will train the specialist to be able to recognize that data so that they'll be able to provide diagnoses that are even more effective. Generally speaking, algorithms can already spot anomalies in scanned images and can do it more quickly than humans can. For example, the computer has precisely identified this tumor in just a matter of seconds. These days, the scans must be read individually. That takes a lot of time and effort. It would be more effective if a number of values could be analyzed at once, like with a full blood test. Computers could analyze a number of cases in a fraction of a second and find any similarities, even in cases that date back years. These are post-evaluation images. You can make out healthy tissue and damaged tissue. The healthy tissue is pink and the tumor tissue is green. I can identify problem areas right away just by looking at the images. But will this technology make radiologists redundant? When you get involved in this kind of work and this kind of technology, you'll see that there will continue to be a place for radiologists. For example, they'll be able to transfer data to other branches of the medical profession that don't have this sort of expertise. Kevin Meder is the driving force behind these technological innovations. He understands how image analysis and adaptive algorithms work. And he's impressed that the specialists at the hospital in Basel have welcomed the opportunity to try something new. It was really important for us that they were very welcoming about this. They saw that the medical profession is going to change radically over the next 20 years. They didn't reject new technology or oppose it. They embraced it. They wanted to learn new skills so that they wouldn't be replaced by computers. And that will open up new opportunities for them. That makes sense, because the data is already there in the images. It's the analysis of all that material that takes a lot of time and effort. And that could be done quickly and effectively by a computer. That will give doctors more time to focus on clinical procedures that will benefit their patients.